Nice right hand by Perez on that entry. I think he's a little hurt. Gray's hurt. That's pretty tight. If he steps over that body and he can get to that half guard position. That's it. Oh, he's it unconscious. It is over. You called it, Eve. He didn't even need to step over. He had him the whole time. He doesn't even have that squeeze. On. You want to have that, that grip on the bicep, not necessarily on your own forearm. But his squeeze is so good and so tight, he was able to squeeze that choke down, clamp down, and cut off the circulation of blood to his brain. Ooh, there it is again. Oh, that there, hurt it is. Bad. there it is. Oh, that would hurt him bad. Oh my goodness, over and Fresh over. let him up. That is a mess. Oh, oh my goodness, that's it. over. That's it. Wow. A knockout due to calf kicks. That shin is so busted up. And here's the last one. Watch this one, Joe. Yeah, this one's short, too. That leg was so busted up, he couldn't take it. Perez to the body, mixing it up. Torres able to land a right hand on the way out. Alex Perez on He's fire. fire. Perez trying to finish oh, this oh, fight. It's it. Alex Perez. Oh. Just a tremendous performance by Alex Perez. Just hitting every strike accurate, sharp, and then finding the kill shot. For your protection and for those around you, face coverings are mandatory in public spaces, including the airport. Please keep your mouth and nose covered. Show de bola. Cheguei aqui para fazer a festa. Eu tenho certeza que estou bem preparado. E vocês vão ver. Louco Deus da guerra, mais agressivo. Bom, os fãs podem esperar que um, um grande nocaute. Eu tô aqui pra nocautear esse cara e defender o meu cinturão. Let's go! It feels amazing, you know, finally get a full camp and actually show everybody what I can do. This is always fun, you know, getting quarantined. I completely understand. I'd rather get paid and fight than not, you know. Just hanging out, trying to get out of the hotel. They want me to get a suit to look like uh, Conor McGregor, but I'm not I'm not down for that. I'll gonna, stick I'll gonna stick, stick with the sweats. Uh, yeah, I'll stick with the sweats and sweater, man. You wanna go in there? Let's go in there. Let's check it out. You gonna look at a suit? Yes, I will look at a suit. Would I get it? Probably not. But okay, I'll look. Tell me what your style is. Try Bruce Looper. That is something he would wear. Oh man. Hey, he's he can dress, man. When I moved to Cali like five years ago, we lived together in a firehouse, but it was only the, us two for a couple of years, you know, eating the three meals a day together, going to the gym in the same car. We just, we just best friends. We were for, for each other. It's like Batman and Robin. Um, this week, he's Batman. He's about to conquer a world title, and I'm here for that. Now it's a little bit different. I'm about to be a dad, and uh, it's probably one of the most exciting things in my life right now. And I'm excited to fight for him. It's a little bit different, you know, it's a good feeling, you know, but a lot more responsibility. Not too long ago, the division seemed to be in trouble. What does it mean to you to be at the very top of this particular pay-per-view in this event? Bom, eu digamos que eu sou o vocalista da da categoria. E quando conquistei o cinturão foi a maior felicidade do mundo para mim, cara, voltar 
sabendo que o meu povo estava muito feliz comigo. So, if you want to hold it right there. Primeiro round ainda. Okay. Aqui é, é o dia. Aqui é o local do sábado. Vamos, vamos. 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 Being in this side just remind me that in a couple of weeks we're gonna be in that side. So I cannot enjoy it too much because that thing is horrible. So I'll be there in what? Four weeks? the way in for UFC 255, Figueredo versus Perez, first fighter to the scale. 124 and a half. 124 and a half, the official weight for the title challenger, Alex Perez. 125 even. 125, the official weight for the champion, Davison Figueredo. Since arriving just three years ago, his intentions have been clear. Destroy whoever is in front of him. No flyweight champion in UFC history has had as high a finishing rate. Oh! Davison Figueredo answers! We on a rampage and we can't say it. I will be champion for a long time. I will knock out all those who enter in my front to defend me. A slicing. Punishing. Unrelenting bolt of electricity. From the UFC apex in Las Vegas, Nevada, it's UFC 255. Figueredo versus Perez. Dateline Las Vegas. His nickname is perfect. He is a shredded, terrifying destroyer. But his opponent tonight, man, Alex Perez, a guy that has been in there with some of the best fighters, too. Davison Figueredo has accomplished his first mission. UFC champion is calm, he is cool, he is collected, and believes he has the tools, all of them, to bring the gold back to California's Central Valley. Davison Figueredo, his nickname, Dustegera. Translates to God of War. Oh God! I am a guy who does not have pity for any other fighter. If I can cut him with my hands, I will cut him. My hard work got me here. It's not luck. Everything that I have had, I have worked for. I'm a tough matchup for anybody in the division, just because I can wrestle, I can punch, and I can grapple. I was born to fight. God gave me this gift, and I can say that I will always exercise it with honor. Davison Figueredo. Davison Figueredo hits so hard for this division. I'm not here to take a participation medal and say that I fought for a title. I'm here to win it. He's a tough guy. He's game. I usually don't put too much into weigh-ins, but when those two guys were facing each other off, Alex Perez was dead-faced. With plus skills in every phase of the game, here is the undisputed UFC flyweight champion, Davison Figueredo, Deus de Geha, translation, God of War. Well, when you talk about Davison Figueredo, you talk about a guy that for a long time struggled with the scales, right? People thought if he was gonna lose, it was going to be at the scales. Davison Figueredo, 32 years of age. Alex Perez is 28. Perez, the taller man by an inch. But it will be a two and a half inch reach advantage in the red corner with Davison Figueredo. It's time! The challenger, Alex Perez! Davison, Deus de Geha! 
Okay, gentlemen, you understand the rules you fight under. List to me, keep yourself protected. If I say stop, please stop. If you want to touch, do it now. God bless you. Perez beat up the legs of Formiga from the conventional stance last time. Formiga was done in the first round. This is a young man that's not going to be intimidated. No. Oh, man. There's some serious power to that left kick. Oh. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. Again, Figueredo back to the orthodox stance. Look at this. Nice single leg there by Alex Perez. Oh, my goodness. Beautiful job. Yeah, Figueredo got kind of a back trip there. Oh, Ultimately, good job by Perez. Perez. Oh, look at this. Oh, the guillotine. He's almost out. Nope. Now it's tight. Nope. Oh, my goodness. Under two minutes oh, in, Davidson Figueredo. He, that's the thing about this guy. He can knock you out. He can submit you. I mean, put Joey B to sleep. Amazing. Uh, amazing because it, it seemed like Perez was almost out of there at one point. Look at this. He drops down for the leg. Anytime a guy starts panicking, starts trying to stand up to slam or back out, you know they're in a lot of trouble. And still, the undisputed UFC. Davison Figueredo, congratulations, sir, on a spectacular submission victory. How good does it feel to defend the title for the first time? E eu tô aqui para desafiar o Brendo Moreno. Brendo Moreno, você quer lutar comigo em dezembro? Eu sou o melhor peso por pound. And uh, I want to I want to face Brandon Moreno and Dana make this happen. That's the fight that I want to happen. Beautiful submission tonight and uh, a spectacular result for you. Enjoy it and we'll see you again in the octagon maybe against Brandon Moreno, but whoever it is against, I will look forward to that fight. Dana, uh, yeah. pr pretty impressive performance from Davison Figueredo in the main event. I uh, just wanted to get your thoughts on on kind of his performance tonight and this emerging force as a dominant flyweight champion. He's got that that meanness to him when he comes into fight. You know, he's fun. Unique position tonight because Brandon Moreno. That was it seemed like kind of a de facto number one contender fight with Royval. Uh, he wins. He says he wants the champ. Davidson says I want Moreno. So is that done deal? I mean, is that is that, that the right fight? We're gonna keep him here. He's not going back to Brazil. We're gonna turn him right around. You know, just getting started as a champion. You look at somebody like Mighty Mouse, who had been around for a long time. Do you see him comparing favorably to Demetrius in terms of what he can do in the cage and the kind of fighter he would be? And let's see if he can go on a run. Um, you know, that can make the kid a legend. I mean, he's got all the tools and that. Like I said, he can knock you out. He can submit you. Um, and he's a scary little dude, man.